Hey guys, just before I get into this video, if you do fancy yourselves any Ultimate Team coins, they're super cheap at the moment, so you guys can check them out over on Go Gold, sorry, GameGoldTrader.com, and you can use CalFreezy at checkout. They also do, um, I believe it is uh, Xbox One codes and PSN codes, and I'll leave a link down below so you guys can just go ahead and check that out. And like I said, use CalFreezy uh, for a discount at your checkout. Anyways, let's get on with the video. I hope you guys enjoy it, and I'll see you on the other side. Hey guys, what's going on? And welcome to this new FIFA 15 highest rated um, changed players, I guess. Today we're going to be going over some of the players that we reckon is going to be changed and it'll be more the higher rated ones that we're looking at that could possibly get a change. Now, of course, I took to Twitter as always, guys, and I asked you all, what players do you think will be the highest rated that are going to possibly have a change? And I got some great feedback from some of you guys. And uh, we'll start off with uh, probably the most controversial one and that is of course the Messi Ronaldo shindig so Jake here on Twitter says Ronaldo 93 Messi 94 now um, for me I personally think Ronaldo and Messi should both have the same rating but we all know EA and we know what EA are up to and chances are Messi will probably be about one rating higher than Ronaldo um, I personally think they should both be about 93 or both 94 um, I think that would be most suitable and uh, there's no doubt about it you know Ronaldo did win Ballon d'Or but to have two rating difference between them I don't think is right. Um, th this year, Ronaldo was, of course, 92 rated, Messi 94, and I think EA have got to at least close that gap. So, um, I've decided on 94, 93, not necessarily because that's what I think it should be, but that's because that's what I think it is going to be. So, I hope you guys can understand that. And, of course, Jake over here on Twitter um, thinks a similar thing, that uh, Messi will still reign king on FIFA, because we all know how much EA do love their man Messi. Anyways, let's move on to another player that we're going to be taking a look at and that, of course, is the very controversial Luis Suarez. Now, Jetro FIFA says Suarez should be an 89 on this current FIFA. And uh, actually, just before I go any further, guys, I want to throw out this quick disclaimer. I haven't edited any of these smaller stats, only their overall, um, based on what feedback you guys have given me, just because then you're getting into the nitty-gritty, and there's honestly really no point discussing that sort of stuff. There's just way too much going on, so I've just tweaked the overall. Anyways, like I said, Jetro reckons Suarez should be an 89 and I have to agree I, I think EA have to notice how uh, how good of a season Suarez has had and how he's definitely one of the top players out there despite how controversial he might be there is no doubt about it that he has got to be looking for an upgrade. A few of my uh, people on Twitter said that they honestly think he should be 90 rated. I decided to go with 89 because I don't want to get too carried away. And I think it's quite good. They've already given him an upgrade from 86 to 88 this year in FIFA Ultimate Team. Um, I believe that was around January they gave him that upgrade. So I do expect them to probably give him uh, hopefully an extra one to make him an 89. I think that would be a fair rating. I think most people would agree with me on that. But uh, of course, guys, um, the big thing about ratings and things like that and I was quite skeptical about doing this video is because it is all very opinion based. Some people might be like, why should this person have this rating and this person doesn't have that rating? All that sort of thing. So it's very opinion based and the comment section is where I'd like for you guys to leave your opinion on what rating these sort of players are. Um, and also, um, who do you think at the top, you know, the top tier players we're talking about here deserve to have changes? Do you think Robin should have any changes? Let me know. Um, anyways, let's move on to another player that uh, is looking at a possible change for FIFA 15. Of course, it's the man himself, Zlatan, the king, Ibra. And you know what? This guy deserves to have an upgrade. He should definitely enter that elusive 90-rated club. I mean, he has been insane. He is such a good player, and I really hope he gets this upgrade. I think 90, and like Tim said, between 90 and 91 would be quite good. Probably 90.5 would be ideal, but hey, you know, it doesn't look like we're going to be getting 0.5 ratings anytime soon. So, um, yeah, I definitely think Ibrahimovic is in line for an upgrade. I mean, he, he, he is 89 this season. I think uh, putting him up plus one would be about right. It wouldn't surprise me if they put him to 91. He has scored 26 goals in just a league one this season and in total he scored around 36 as well if you include the Champions League. So uh, yeah, this guy has scored plenty of goals for PSG this season and I definitely like to see him get at that upgrade because he's thoroughly deserved it and uh, let's be honest guys, this guy is a monster up front. So um, hopefully we can expect an Ibrahimovic upgrade. What do you guys think 
think? Do you think it should be 1991? I mean, at the end of the day, there's not that much of a difference, but it'd be nice to hear what you guys have to think. I mean, there might be even a few of you serious Ebra fans that reckon he should be 92 rated, or do you think he should just stick to his 89 rating and not get moved around too much? Let me know down in the comments below. Next up is none other than Marco Royce. I mean, this guy, he's just, honestly, he is really incredible. And I mean that in real life and on FIFA as well. I really like him. And uh, on FIFA at the moment, he's rated around 85, which is fair enough. But I definitely think he's in line for an upgrade. And so does Abed Nasser here. He reckons that Royce should get an upgrade to around 87. And I have to agree with him. I definitely think 87 is a solid rating for him. And he has been a really solid player. He's managed to pick up 16 goals and 13 assists just in the Bundesliga. If you want to add in uh, the Champions League, I'm pretty sure it's going to be around 21 uh, goals and 15 assists. I mean, I'm sorry, but those are incredible stats. Those are seriously insane stats. For a left midfielder or a left winger, whatever you'd like to see him as, that is honestly so impressive, and he has got to get an upgrade. Um, I'd be very surprised if we don't see an upgrade. I I'll be really disappointed if we don't see it, because I honestly think he is quality, and uh, yeah, absolutely spot on, spot on the money with um, Abed there I think that uh, 87 would be a really reasonable um, sort of rating for him so uh, let's move on to our final player for this um, particular episode and today we're going to be finishing off with James Rodriguez or James Rodriguez however you'd like to pronounce it plenty of jokes flying around at the moment but he has been the spotlight of um, the World Cup really I mean this guy just scored an absolutely monstrous goal the other day and uh, he's just on everyone's mind right now and Brad here reckons James Rodriguez should be an 87 rated player and I have to agree with you his current rating I believe he's an 83 rated right winger I'm not too sure if he's going to be a right wing come uh, next FIFA because if you guys take a look at his team of the season card I believe it was 90 rated and it was a cam so you could expect a position change as well um, but yeah this guy has got to get upgraded simple as that I mean if you take a look at it let's be honest four um, stat upgrades I guess four overall upgrades that is a lot and it's the most we've seen in this episode so far but I really think it is deserved I think he's a really good player and uh, he's completely showcased it on the World Cup but one thing I am slightly worried about is people maybe overhyping him a little bit. Don't get me wrong. I think he's a really good player and I think he's absolutely quality. But people can just be overhyping him just a little bit much because of the World Cup and what's going on. And because he is playing so, so well at the moment. Um, but yeah, it wouldn't surprise me if we see an upgrade. And I think 87 would be a, uh, a solid number for him to be around. So let me know in the comments, guys. Who do you think um, I should cover next? But there's plenty of other players out there. You've got Ribery, you got Robin, um, a bunch of players. I just picked a few of the... Uh, more popular ones that people tend to be talking about at the moment. Um, of course, Ibra, unfortunately not at the World Cup, but the rest of them all seem to be at the World Cup, or we're at the World Cup at some stage. And um, yeah, let me know uh, down below, what do you guys think to some of these ratings? What would you like to see changed? And uh, let me know um, some of the future players you'd like to see me talk about, and uh, I'll be able to screenshot you, and you might end up being on the video, which would be fantastic. So, let's see if we can smash 2,000 likes for another one of these videos, guys. I love talking about this sort of stuff with you, um, especially the ones that are a little bit more open to having a discussion not just throw out random uneducated comments because nobody likes that nobody has fun with that so um yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys around Bye bye